A man in a position of trust brought before a judge today on charges of stealing from the Poway Unified School District. We have new information about John Collins, fired as superintendent last year, now facing possible prison time. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is live, and Steve, these accusations date back several years. They do, Lindsay. The prosecutor said that, the, uh, that Collins received over $300,000 in wrongful payments dating back to 2012. His attorney denies any wrongdoing. John Collins entered a not guilty plea to the four felony charges and remained free on his own recognizance. The DA accusing him of illegal use of a district purchasing card as well as padding his salary through manipulating vacation and sick time. He got paid out for vacation he'd already used. So he utilized the vacation, whether for vacation purposes or whatever, um, whatever he used it for, and then he asked to be paid out on it. Collins' attorney argues he did nothing wrong. That we absolutely deny it. Uh, our position is that Mr. Collins always uh, used the, the district funds appropriately, um, that his vacation time was managed appropriately. It, it's unfortunate that this, this dispute over these things has resulted in, as you said, serious felony charges. Collins was the highest paid school superintendent in the county, $308,000 per year with benefits, bringing his total compensation to over $450,000. Still, he ran into financial troubles and had to sell his house to avoid foreclosure. Poway Unified fired him last year and brought a civil suit, which is yet to wind through the courts. He's also been targeted by this couple, who accuse him of bigotry as well as corruption. Uh, Dr. Collins is a wolf in sheep's clothing. He's been um, uh, deceitful with our community for decades. I would say it's a step in the right direction. There's still a lot of corruption at Poway Unified, and there are too many bad apples left over and we still need to deal with them. Collins is free but he must report to jail for filling out paperwork in about a week and a half. He would then be released again. If convicted he faces seven years in prison. Live downtown Steve Fiorina 10 years.